Hey folks, this is Richard Ross with Access Learning Zone. It's only been a couple days since I released version 1.0 of my Access AI Query Builder, and I've gotten a ton of feedback from the people who purchased it so far, and there were a couple things that they really wanted to see added, so I took the time this morning and added those features. I added the data types, so that now if you have a field where the AI might not be able to figure out what the data type is, the database will send the data type list to the AI, so there's no confusion. So if you got a field like last amount, then you can tell the AI this is a currency value instead of just a number or a text field. And I also added the ability so you can specify which tables and queries now, you can add queries to the list, will be sent to the AI so it knows what your fields are. So for example, I have in my tables, I have ordered detail T, right? And the order details basically just have the quantity and the unit price, but I don't multiply them together. So if you're familiar with my database, I do have a helper query, whoops, I have a helper query right here called order detail Q, where it multiplies those together for extended price. This makes it so that you don't have to include the order details, right, with each. So for example, if you're familiar with my tech help database, I've got orders and I've got order details. And in the order detail table, it just stores the quantity and the unit price. There's no math in here. So to get the line total, you have to multiply those together. That's why I have this query order detail Q, which basically is all the details from the detail table, but it adds this calculated field over here for extended price. It's just one less step that the AI has to do. So what I do now is in my tables to include, you can see it, it automatically creates this list of tables. And then you can come in here and specify which ones you want to include in what gets sent to the AI. So it can consider the field lists. So for example, you don't want to send it your bot T, that's just for this database. And you don't want to send it the table list and the query list because those are the tables that contain the lists of tables and queries to go to the AI. So I'm only going to send contacts, customers, and order T. And then in my list of queries to include, you can now send it any queries that might have information that the AI could use, like I'm just sending order detail Q. And if you've got other queries where you do some fancy calculations, you can send those to the AI now as well. So now if I come in here and say, give me a list of customers with paid orders totaling $1,000 or more, and then hit send to the AI, there it goes. And there's the SQL. You can see it's using the order detail queue now. And if you view your results, there's your list of results. And I did check these, let's spot check one. <laughs> Spock check, let's Spock check one of them. <laughs> let's go to the customer list, let's find Mr. Spock, there you are. And you should have a paid order over $1,000, yep, there you go. All right, so there's your updates. And you'll see if you look at the tables and field list, here it is, you can see each one of them has the type of data after it. Customer first name, and I also include the table names now too. So there's no ambiguity. Sometimes it was mixing these up, right? Order t.notes is a memo field. Order detail q.quantity is a double and so on. And the AI can use that to generate the proper query listing. So there you go. There's the most requested features so far. Now I do have to remind you, every time I make an update, the price goes up. So if you've already purchased this, you're good. You're grandfathered in, you can download the update, no extra charge. If you haven't purchased this yet and you're thinking about it, Now's the time to do it, because every time that version number goes up, the cost goes up as I add more features. So if you want to get it, get it now. Here's the link down here. I'll put a link down below you can click on. If you have any questions or comments, post them down below. Live long and prosper. I'll see you next time.